Okay, as you all know, the theme was love is a verb. And what is love? I like the will of my team. When you are young and you are an adult, young adults, it's all about feelings, emotions, beauty, butterflies, and all those nice things. No, it's not that. No, that's not what I'm talking about today. Love, we're talking about love as an action or as a verb. And for that to happen, for, for love to be a verb, it needs to be demonstrated, it needs to be acted out, and it needs to be acted upon. And it must guide our actions as well, and the things we say and do. Moreover, love is sometimes an action word, required, requiring inaction. And what does that mean? It means you must be able to restrain yourself. You must also have self-control. So it's a very fascinating combination uh, when we talk about love. But why do we have to have that love and why? Why, what do we need to uh, center it upon? And we take it back to scripture. And Jesus Christ tells us why. Because if, if, you, don't, if you don't understand the why you're doing something, you're not going to, you are not going to be able to do it effectively. So I'm going, to, I'm going to make sure that I land this message in just three minutes with a verse that, um, that, is, that we take from Matthew 22, verse 30, 34 to 40. And what does it say? Uh, then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all your, thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. That is the first thing. Love God with everything that you are. This is the first and great commandment. And then he continues and says, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Of these two commandments have all the law and the prophets. So if you forget everything else that you read in the Bible, if your why is centered on God and it's centered on Jesus Christ, your love is going to be an action or it's going to be an inaction when it's, when it's relevant. Then we make an action one is easy. So today we did an action. We were better. We went to visit the home. We gave food away. We did all of these nice things. We were kind. We were, you look after others. You, you are sensitive. You are empathetic on others. You listen. You engage. You are focused. But what is, what is so hard for a human being to, to, to really comprehend is love as in action. Where you don't act. <coughs> okay? So mm -hmm. let me make an example. That makes me upset, and I'm like so upset. I'm like, I can't even think straight. That happened once in a while. And then what happens? I could choose. I could choose to scream and shout and like throw my toys out and do all kinds of things. Is that kind? No. But I can choose in action, restraint, pause, think, breathe then communicate effectively so that the other person can feel the love that is in action. That is action. That is a verb that says, I hear you. I understand the upset. Can we have a conversation? Rather than saying, what are you doing? What's wrong with it? You, have, you see? In action. That's where, that's where abuse comes when someone can't restrain themselves. And it links it back to 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient, love is kind, love, love is long suffering, love is all those things. But you can't have any of those things and you can't do any of that if it's not centered in Christ and if it's not centered in, in, in God. Hence, he first starts with that first. I'm reading Simon Sinek, um, the book that says <clears throat> your why, understanding your why. And, and I think if you do that, you are able to speak act, uh, think, and all of these things will come easily for you if it is centered in God, who is your why. And this verse is so important that it is mentioned, I think, in all the Gospels in the Bible. So we have to take it seriously. And the last thing, the, the best evidence of love is what we had at the back of our t-shirts today. 
when, what did it say? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall not perish but have everlasting life. What more evidence do we have that could disprove that God loves us so much? I don't see myself certified as a but God did that for us. That is love in action. May God bless the redeem of this work. Amen. Amen.